Sure. So you just spoke with the crowd a little bit ago. Share with some of our viewers what you were telling them. How are you feeling now seeing those initial results? Well, the initial results look real good. I mean, we're up by 5,000 votes. Uh, we're going to be looking at the, uh, the walk-in vote pretty soon. Within the next 10 minutes, we should have that answer. And then we've got some mail ballots that we have to look at, too. So there's a chance. I mean, it's not insurmountable that she could come back to win. But we feel very confident right now that, the, that we've got a victory. We were talking about the journey of this campaign, what it's been like over these last couple of months. Summarize that as you've really hit the finish line here and are just waiting on those last little bit of votes to be tabulated. Well, the, the journey was a long one. I mean, I lost my wife in December. Then I made a decision to give my heart and soul to the city of Cranston. Uh, that was a difficult decision for me to make, but the people welcomed me with open arms in Cranston. They've made me feel as though I've got my family. And everywhere I go in Cranston, people have given, shown me that type of love. Uh, so I, I had a real good feeling while I was campaigning that the people really wanted me to be the next man. That's what I want to talk to you about, because we've talked several times throughout the course of this campaign. But at what point did you feel that something might be turning in your favor? I'm not exactly sure when it, it happened. I could just feel it all the way through. From the beginning, when we started going door to door and talking to people, people started to get excited when I showed up at the door. If I went into restaurants, people noticed who I was. So our message was really getting out there and starting to resonate. Uh, I could feel it real strong the last two weeks. I could really tell when we went into certain areas of the city that people were uh, with us. Let me ask you, at what point will you be confident uh, calling it or seeing this going your way? We're still waiting on those two other rounds of votes. At what point for you will enough uh, total be enough? Well, I've got a lot of respect for my opponent. I thought she ran a great race, and I want to give her the benefit of the doubt until uh, the official tally comes in. Uh, we're going to take a good look at these next votes, go back with my team in the back room, and take a good look at it. But she ran a hard race. She ran a, a good race. I think we got some real good uh, publicity about how, how to be good people and still compete against each other in politics. So I want to commend her as well for what she did. Ken Hopkins, thanks for joining us live. We appreciate it. We'll be in touch throughout the rest of this evening. Great, thank Guys, you. I just want to mention, we did reach out to the Maria Bucci campaign, who says at this point they are still waiting on more votes to be tabulated. They are not really commenting past that.